Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. This week we're going to be featuring a newer product that's in our Cool Comfort collection. This is a product that is kind of a little bit more of a, of a niche offering if you will compared to some of our other stuff. It is the Tangly Orion Winter Overshoe with the extended gaiter. So this is naturally it's got a 14 inch height. It does have a 6 inch roll away gaiter which we're going to show a little bit later and it does expand so it gives you a total of 20 inch of coverage which is good for you know snow uh, any kind of like a wet environments anything like that it is an 840 denier nylon with a polyurethane coating uh, which is waterproof it's durable so you know some of the comments that we've seen out there about people who have used these before and the feedback is that you know things like ice melt uh, or even certain kind of liquid chemicals or even just like you know getting things splashed and dirty mud splatter all that kind of stuff you know the grime that you really get built up with the winter there was kind of easily wash off of this type of fabric that's what's nice about it you know depending on what kind of exposure it's getting to some of the harsher kind of materials you may want to kind of try to wash it off within about a half hour as people kind of express that you know it's a good way to maintain the exterior of the boot without hopefully you know getting too much damage on that kind of waterproof coating but generally speaking really durable really sustainable uh, the way that these work which is great so now we're going to talk about the system a little bit here so it does use that hook and loop closure uh, so it kind of allows for almost any size of boot to fit into it. So we'll kind of just show you guys how this works. So what's nice about it, you got, you know, some really nice, strong, very, very durable Velcros, to be quite honest with you. They definitely adhere quite nicely. And then you also have this nice big buckle. So when you kind of have this thing, you're kind of putting it all together on your, you know, on your leg and, uh, and over your work boot, you have nice bulky kind of components. So if you're wearing bulkier work gloves or anything like that, you don't have to take them off just to kind of handle this stuff. You can easily kind of unclass this, you know, again, even if you're wearing some thicker gloves. And the Velcro, like I said, is really tough. You got a nice tab, easy to kind of rip open here. So we're just gonna tear this bad boy right up. And then look, all that space that you got. Nice open flap and everything like that. So nice open and airy. You got pretty much all the space that you need to easily get your leg wrapped in around it. And then you basically kind of tuck it against yourself. And then you kind of Velcro that thing right back up. And then same thing with the nice big buckle. So you can't really go wrong with that kind of a system. It is really easy to put on. So we do find that that's kind of a nice feature of it. Again, we like products that don't require you to basically take everything off, like your gloves, like your shoes, your boots and all that to, to work with it. So that's what's really phenomenal about a system like that, right? So the instep strap, you know, it's got the quick release buckles, like we said, so everything's just really nice and handy. And then on top of it, you know, we love talking safety, right? So reflective striping, you guys can see all of that all over around it here. So everything where you see the silver tubing, it's all the reflective stuff. And you got a nice big strap back here too, just to kind of, you know, give yourself that extra kind of pull in when you want to put your fit your leg into it. So um, yeah, it's fantastic. Now we mentioned the gator earlier, so we're gonna kind of talk about that real quick since we're still talking about the outer exterior of the boots. So to get the gator out, it's a little bit of a system here because it's nicely tucked in, right? So you got the Velcros and you got your button clasps. So once you have all that, you basically unroll this whole thing right out. And then that's your extension. And then there's actually a bunch of Velcro, which you'll see lining the inside parts of it. And then you basically got yourself that nice system. And then on top of which, when your leg is fitted into it, so I'll just kind of lay this down so you guys can see it. It's nice, big and wide. And then also you can basically pull this to tighten it up to your leg. So that way it kind of helps with the snow drifting, the wind and stuff like that. So overall, really good system when it goes, you know, again, just, you know, nice kind of customizable uh, to the fit that you need depending on the weather conditions here. Now the inner part of the boot, you know, has some nice kind of comfort features. You know, obviously really hard to see really in here, so you'll have to take my word for it. Uh, so the way that they built it, it's got that lightweight anti-fatigue design. Uh, so the way it's, you know, kind of set up is that, you know, it'll kind of have that impact absorption. It's perfect for that all day comfort. It is a roomy interior because it is meant to have, you know, to go over another boot, ideally with the idea in mind of like a work boot type of thing. Uh, so it is built for that in mind. So it can accommodate some oversized, you know, work boots and shoes. Uh, it's a good solution for protecting kind of that, you know, that footwear that you'll have that's, you know, likely made of leather, right? Like a lot of people have the, the eight inch, 
uh, work boot made of like some nice leather. I mean, you know, obviously it's tempting to just quickly step outside for a 15, 20 minute thing outdoors wearing those boots. But again, with the ice melt or other kind of, kind of, you know, substances out there, uh, you know, the salt and the sand and all that stuff, you're going to really grime up your boots. This is what's meant to get really covered in all that. And like we said earlier, easily wash off. So you really want to protect your investments, right? This boot is meant to take all that, you know, that kind of abuse while as your, you know, your work boot, you know, keep it in good shape. It'll last longer. It's ideal. Uh, so it's just, you know, part of that whole mentality. It does have the extra wide gusset like we showed earlier when we opened the whole flap up. Uh, so again, really easy donning and doffing. Finally, it's a polypropylene foam liner. So it's just good for cushioning and some insulation. So it is still going to be kind of a nice and kind of comfortable warm feel on your legs. Now we're gonna get into the outsole a little bit here. So they do have the perimeter cleats that we see here. Uh, so, and it's got the deep lugs, really deep kind of treading. So good for going into the snow, definitely winter your gear in mind, right? So this helps to provide that added traction, you know, good stability, protection against the slips and the falls on the ice or other kind of slippery surfaces. Uh, anytime, you know, you start getting into kind of into the minus five and under, things start to get slippery. Obviously things get much colder than that, but that's where we start to see the shift and for some colder conditions. Now, in some of our past videos, we have covered slip and fall injuries and how common they are, especially in North America and how prevalent it is and dangerous. You know, we've done videos in the past uh, you know, regarding some ice cleats and things like that. So if you're kind of wondering about other product offerings within the winter lineup to help you can slip and falls and stuff, if that's a concern, you can definitely check that out. But this product is built with that kind of stuff in mind. And generally the reviews are really good for that. People have definitely had some good feedback talking about how they've really built a fantastic outsole for that, which is great. And it's also self-cleaning. That is actually one of those features that, you know, a bit low key, but really handy to have because it ejects the snow as you walk around and all that slush. So, you know, when you can kind of come inside after walking around outdoors and within a matter of a couple minutes that things are kind of nicely cleaned up on the bottom of your boot and not just really clinging on, that's what's really nice. Self-cleaning outsoles, in my opinion, are kind of one of the best features to look out for when you're looking for winter footwear. The biggest thing that, you know, we kind of see in terms of like the interest in a product like this is, you know, why would I get this type of an overshoe? I can, you know, I've got some moist winter boots or I can get my hands on some. So obviously the one thing about these particular boots is that they go over your existing footwear. So what's really important to think about is it really depends on your lifestyle and your work needs and what, you know, your day-to-day -day looks like. So it's a matter of convenience. If you work in and out of buildings pretty regularly, you're switching from indoor, outdoor work. Uh, this is the easier option than switching your footwear back and forth all the time. Or like we said earlier, wearing your indoor footwear, but you know, briefly 15, 20 minutes to a half hour outside and, but you know, getting them kind of all mucked up. And then when you go back to the indoor work, well, you gotta maybe kind of like, you know, clean up your shoes, grab some paper towel, do that kind of thing. So you don't have to worry about those things here. It does help to ensure that you keep your leather boots nice and dry in good condition and that you have the proper footwear for the winter conditions, right? Because your work boots aren't necessarily gonna have these outsole features. So, you know, those are all some things to consider, you know, when you're kind of evaluating that. Now, the one thing with this boot is that it is not CSA. So you may make the argument, well, I can get X boot and those are gonna be CSA rated and all that, which is fantastic. The thing with this one in particular is that, yes, in and of itself, it is not CSA, but the boot that you're wearing inside of it ideally should be, if that's a, you know, point of intention there. So those are just some things to kind of keep in mind when you're considering, do I invest in an overshoe versus getting a boot? Price point wise, the overshoe is actually a really good value for what it is. So like we were saying earlier, you have a fantastic product. It's really well built, has some great components to it, and it's easy donning and doffing. So in a sense, I think you really make out some really great value with the investment made on a product like that. Now, if you're interested in investing in something like this or you have questions, of course, it is part of our Cool Comfort 2021 series, this particular product here, and it is available. We have some stock on it. So, you know, link in the description below if you want to check that out. And guys, if you appreciated the content of the video today, really appreciate it if you can hit that like button or if you even want to subscribe for future content. We really try to touch on some products that are more industry specific, you know, more niche to kind of that industrial sector of things, things that you don't necessarily watch videos on all the time. So we really appreciate you guys checking us out. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave some comments. If you have questions, you can hit us up to the website. You can contact us, send us an email, give us a call. We're here to help you guys out. So thank you very much for checking it out, guys. Take care. See ya.